Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Brandon Watts and today we'll be going over how to light for hallways. But first, I want to thank everyone who has joined the channel as I really appreciate everyone's support. And I also want to thank those who have supported the channel through my affiliate links as they are helping me to pay for some microphones so that I can provide better content for you. One of the videos I've recently tried to create was over basic camera settings before quickly realizing that I need to bring along more gear so that I can not only record myself inside at the location, but also so that I can record the camera menu and live screens as I make adjustments. I think being able to show how different settings affect the image will be very helpful, so bear with me as I learn how to get all that set up. That's better and more content is on the way, I promise. Okay, so now, while I get those videos set up, I figured I would answer one of the questions that came up over how to light for hallways, which is really quite simple. You'll see we're here in Photoshop. We have my standard three ambient brackets from dark to light followed by our flash pops. This first flash pop is gonna be so that way I can light up inside of uh, inside of this entryway here, followed by these back rooms. Then we have the hallway itself, where I'm on the right side to fill in this left, left side to fill in the right, followed by more back rooms, living room, kitchen, back dining room, so let's go and get started. As always, we are going to hit this first one with an HDR merge, which merges the three bracketed ambient exposures into one HDR ambient file. And you can see this is the, the brightest exposure. This is the darkest right here where the highlights, the windows and how those merge into this base image where the uh, highlights are overblown. Some of those shadows are a little bit too dark. And now we have a well-blended well blended HDR image. We will merge those into one. Then we can hit this with an ambient blend, which is a 50% 50, 50, 50, uh, 50 opacity set to luminosity layer with a second uh, duplicated layer set to 50% opacity. Uh, also, or with this layer set to color, that's my ambient blend. Then for this one, it's not gonna be a darkened color repair, but instead it's gonna be set to screen. So let's go ahead and change that. And you can see how that affects the image and also brings in the layer behind it. Actually, yep, let's go ahead and set this one to screen as well. We'll get rid of this. And now for these hallway shots, let's go ahead and disable these right here. Now for these hallway shots, we'll hit a mask. G for gradient. Make sure you're set to a black uh, to transparent gradient. Then with the mask selected, hit G on the keyboard. Hold down shift. Just kind of click and drag it across and you can see now we are blended out fairly decently let's go ahead and hit b for brush and kind of brush out some of this unevenness right here it's not going to be perfect that's okay all right now we can group these together and we will set the entire group to screen. And for these, all these back layers, we're just going to hit these for screen as well. Boom. We'll reactivate these. And you can see now how everything is nicely balanced, but there's still some issues like this flash pop, this flash glare that we couldn't get rid of because the hallway was so tightly packed that these flash pops, how they kind of cross over onto the other side, halfway down that middle. So we couldn't really blend that out uh, correctly. And so what we'll do for that is this ambient layer here, this extra ambient layer that we have, we will duplicate that, bring this up to the top. Activate, set this to a luminosity. 
and let's bring up control shift a for camera roll let's brighten the exposure for this a little bit it's a little too dark so those flash pops boom there we are and now we can hit p for pin and make a quick selection around this ceiling there we are kind of adjust those close off that selection hit it with a mask now you can see that kind of fixes it a little bit but we're getting that discoloration now from those pops so we'll hit the entire group with a mask for those flash pops hit b for brush why is my brush not working there we are and we will just brush out what we don't need Okay, now we can select the top, do a control shift alt E, merge all visible, and then bring up a control shift A for camera roll. Hit it with an auto. Kind of bring this up just a little bit, the exposure. Let's hit it with a little bit of contrast to make it slightly more lively. And I think the highlights are okay. Yep, those aren't too bad. Those aren't too bad. Now we can do a quick window pull with these layers back here. You can see that this is going to duplicate that living room. Bring it all the way up to the top. Get it with really a darken. Zoom in. M for marquee. Just going to mask that real quick. Boom, bam, B for brush, resize your brush down, and take out the extra parts that we don't need. The easiest window pull you can do is with a window pull that you already have without going the extra step to actually hit the window with flash. This uh, layer was really just to light up the living room we can also use it for our window pull layer. Brush out what we don't need. Trying not to make this video too long, but trying to show you some extra steps to get the image further in case you wanted to. Not that you have to, you could have stopped without the window pulls if you wanted, but why not just go the extra mile for yourself, if not at least for your client. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. We have to bring up the back room for this. Yep, I was on the living room. Bring this up to the top. Boom. Get this one with a darken. Bring back that selection. Mask it out. Bam. B for brush. Zoom in. Take out the bits that we don't need. And you got yourself some window pulls there. Super easy. Bam. Now let's do a command or control shift alt E merge all visible again. I will bring up my Raya Pro filters and finish. Hit it with a sharp no edge. Hit OK twice just to let it go through. Now that that is sharpened, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Super easy, super quick. If you like any of the information I've been putting out so far, please uh, like and subscribe. There are affiliate links in the description if you like any of the plugins that I use. And uh, I appreciate everybody coming by. Thank you all. Have a great day.